Hey, good morning, guys. Chris with Nichols Retirement Empire. Uh, today, third installment of our series about how to make it to retirement as a teacher. Uh, there are two other videos if you want to go back and watch those. But what I'm trying to do is help equip you as you get into education, either you're brand new, just getting started, or you're a teacher that hasn't been teaching very long. And I'm trying to give you some things that are going to help you to uh, last, to help you stay in the field and to make things a little less stressful because it's already a super tough job. You can tell by how many people quit and uh, all the things, the negative things that are, you know, you're hearing or you're, you know, all that kind of stuff. So it's already hard. So I'm gonna try to give you a few pointers that will help you along the way. All right, today we are looking at something that I call big, picture person you need to be a big picture person and the reason I'm talking about that is uh, teachers are notorious and I was the same way especially early on for they get in their classroom and they become completely and totally that becomes th their world as far as education is that classroom and everything is focused on what is going on in that room and there's a reason for that there's a reason they do that they do that because the most important thing that's happening in the school district or in you know any school is is what happens inside the classroom the learning that goes on in the classroom everybody agrees that is the number one thing and if learning is not going on inside the classroom why do you know there's no point in having a school system so that is what they like to focus on and it because the job is so hard uh it's easy to get in there and become you know you just have tunnel vision and you have no idea what's going on around you so on one hand that's good because you need to concentrate on that you need to focus on that now on the other hand that can hurt you a lot because you are in a education machine a big education machine a big bureaucracy that involves every level of government in the United States and the federal government the state government and your county government and your city government in some cases all have an impact on your classroom and what happens in your classroom and what happens in your school which in turn affects your classroom so it is in my opinion a very good idea for you to understand the these kind of big picture items that are going to affect you and there are a ton of them but before you walk into a classroom without any knowledge of these things happening learn about it learn about what the big picture is uh, one of the number one things that a lot of people don't have a good understanding of is the concept of a free and appropriate public education the federal government has a uh, there are federal laws that, that that guarantee a free and appropriate public education and a student's right to that and and I, I have had so many people comment on my videos and talk about how that it's a privilege to get an education in public education. It's not a right to get, but it is a right. And if you go into a classroom thinking this is a privilege for you to be in my classroom, and that's the way you approach it, and you don't understand why this student over here who is just totally off the wall is in my room and ruining my my teaching uh, you need to understand that free and appropriate public education guarantees that students right to be there and that's you know you have to work within that framework uh, there are tons of things you know uh, the other thing is you have to understand too that you're dealing with all these different groups of people and they all have different things that are important to them students have certain things that they want the parents have certain things that they want the school has certain things and you have certain things that you want the district has 
things that it wants and the state government wants this and the federal government and none of the hardly any of these things match up and you're operating in that system where none of these things match up you know like if i'm a classroom teacher i want kids to do good on these standardized tests uh because it's one of the ways that, that i get scored for effectiveness as a teacher and so it's a big deal to me that we do good on these tests and then you got the kids who uh you know the test doesn't even affect them it doesn't affect their grade it doesn't affect you know their whether they get passed to the next grade level next year you know it may affect them having to take some tutoring or something like that in a lot of cases but uh a lot of times these kids could care less about these standardized tests um, especially on the high school level and middle school level and stuff like that uh, but the teacher is so stressed about it and so worried about it and so you know it's like their whole job rides on this and then the administrators uh, worry about it even more you know and then the school district people I mean it, but then the parents they could care less they just it's why, I'm, why is my kid having to take this test and the teacher's so stressed out and they're you know freaking out and they're scaring the kids to death and all this it's because we don't want you know we don't want the same thing we don't need to do the same things and you're operating in a system that everybody has their own separate things they want to get out of it that's a big picture thing you know the the school administrators may be more concerned about school safety and concerned about that kind of thing than than the teachers are because that's what they're responsible for and uh you know you may be in a situation where you're more concerned about the uh, dress code because you got kids coming in your class with the dress codes causing problems you know but the school district who made the rules about the dress code really could care less because they don't they don't understand why you're taking kids out of class and they're not learning because they don't have on the right clothes and and you know like i said it's just it's just all part of it and uh if i was a new teacher a brand new teacher what i would do is i would look at some of the administrative creative things that colleges are putting out there when they're teaching people how to be school administrators about school law I would look at that I would study that just so I would know uh, what's legal and what's illegal and what I can kind of have in mind how a school district because you go by those things and you can tell what a school district is going to do and what they're not going to do because they're going to do what's legal because they don't want to get sued um, districts are very concerned about lawsuits whereas a teacher does not have to be as concerned um, anywhere near as concerned as a school district is uh, i would look at what the school district's discipline policy is the overall policy I, you know now obviously you need to have a room policy you know the way that you operate in your classroom directly with the students and what your discipline is going to be but i would know what the whole school district discipline policy is and i'd have a pretty good understanding of how it works and who's responsible for it and who makes the decisions and then i would want to know in my building what is the the building policy you know who makes the decisions how much say you know do, does a teacher actually have in it things like that what are the options for discipline you know that a student may receive you know you need to do that not because you're going to be able to change it but just so you understand what you're operating in it's like being in a game and not knowing what the rules are you need to know what the rules are you know why does the referee you know why is he throwing me out of the game because i did this know what the rules are before you just go out there and start doing stuff and that's going to help you out a lot now it may not fix your situation that you're worried about but at least you know what the what the options are at least you know you know there's no reason for me to worry about this because there's nothing i can do about it it is a federal law so i have to operate in the parameters of this federal law and that's one of the things i was very good at as an administrator and a teacher was i was always you know they're coming up with you know well we need you to do this we need this data we need that we need you to stop doing this and start doing that uh we need you to quit doing this and focus on you know it was just complete change all the time and i was very good at 
playing in the rules and making sure that I did things as fast as I could and as efficiently as I could and not waste time. And I was able to do that because I was a big picture person. I understood that no matter how bad I got about it in my classroom, going down to the teacher's uh, workroom and fussing about it with all the other teachers who don't know what's going on, that was a waste of my time. I was better off, you know, okay, what is it you want me to do? All right, I'll do that. And then I would figure out the easiest way for me to do that. I just adjust to whatever and I didn't worry about it I didn't go home and cry you know like I, I'd get upset you know everybody gets upset when they have to do something that they don't want to have to do or they feel like is a waste of time but my first probably 15 years man I would get so wound up you know every time they would come up with some kind of new thing that whatever wherever it came from whether it came from the federal government or the school district or the state or whatever I would just get all wound up and you know get stressed and all that kind of stuff but after about you know 13 14 15 years i started to understand you know what this is just the way it is this is how education works they're always coming up with something new there's always something that's more important than the way it used to be or there this used to be important now it's not important anymore that's just the way it is and i had you know for lack of a better way to say it i learned how to play the game and uh, give them what they want you know just give them what they want and then you know focus on the teaching part you know and, and try to be as effective with that as you can you know don't spend half your day gossiping with all the other teachers about how crazy it is that they're telling us we have to you know lock our doors during class and what how inconvenient it is now the student has to knock on the door whenever they come in the classroom you know, teachers get wound up about stuff like that because it changes, you know, they like to do things the way they want to do them. That's why they're a teacher, so they can, you know, they like to be in control and they like to teach. <laughs> you know, they, they, they want that classroom world, uh, but the problem is, is the classroom world is in an education universe and it can't exist outside of that. So be a big picture person, at least understand it. Because if you understand it, like I said, it's going to be much less stressful for you. Um, and, you know, there's probably a good reason in the administrator's world for why they're doing the things they're doing. And there's a good reason why at the school district level in their world, why they're doing the things they're doing. And there's a good reason in the federal government world why they're doing the things they're doing. And, you know... You just have to find out what the big picture is, number one, and then number two, exist in it and be able to do your job in that situation. Because if you can't, you're probably gonna be another one of the uh, statistics of people that do not make it and uh, don't get to retirement. So learn what it is and learn how to operate in it and keep in mind that that's what's going on around you so anyway thanks for watching guys and uh, i hope that you when you go into education equip yourself to last till retirement like me and that way you can do stuff like i'm doing today i'm riding over to the next town to look for a specific kind of fishing hook uh, that i like to use when i fish i got time to do that because I'm retired. <laughs> so, you guys have a good day and thanks for watching Nichols Retirement Empire.